This is part one of how to edit a news package. Right here you see on Final Cut Pro the timeline or the sequence, the viewer which holds the raw footage, and the canvas where you will see the interviews on the timeline. This is going to be a very simple one so I'm going to start with just showing you. This is just one interview. It's an over-the-shoulder interview. This interview was done with one camera and it starts off as what you may recognize from the studio shoots as an over-the-shoulder shot. Notice that the camera is at an angle. The people are not standing next to each other but our reporter Clara is standing just in front of him at an angle where if we zoom in as you'll see the camera will go and have a full face shot instead of a profile. You may recognize this from studio over-the-shoulder shots that do the same thing. Notice at all times we're always looking to avoid the profile shot which is not only unflattering to a person but it leads the viewer not to pay attention as much. This type of interview with over-the-shoulder zoomed in turns into a nice documentary style interview close-up with a little bit of lead room or nose room to indicate that he's talking to somebody on this side of his face. Notice that we have only this one shot for this whole story. That does not stop us from making this into a full-fledged news package. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. To help flesh this out into looking more like a news package instead of just one interview, we're going to add a voiceover. And to get a voiceover, we need to go up into the menu of Final Cut, go into Tools, go into Voiceover. And you see the Toolbench window, and we have to indicate, of course, what kind of a mic are we using, the source. We're not going to use the built-in input. We're going to go to AT2020 USB. That's the type of mic this is. As you can see now, my voice is stimulating the meter and we're going to do a voiceover. Now to do a voiceover there are two methods. One way is to put the voiceover right over the video or right under the video. But since we don't know exactly where we want the voiceover to be or what kind of a shot we want yet, we're going to make another timeline by going to File, going to New, going to Sequence, or we can simply press Apple N, and you see there's another timeline there. We don't need that one. I just did that to show you. So we're going to Sequence 3, and we're going to add a piece of blank video. Going to Window, going to Effects, going to Video Generators, going to Slug. A slug is nothing more than a piece of video. Here we go. And there's our slug. We stretch the slug out a little bit because we don't want to run out of space to put our voice over when we put it in. And that's probably enough. So now we're going to go to the beginning of our slug and go to the controls for the voice over. Get the tools back again. There it is. It was underneath everything. That's why I did that. And now we're going to press record for voiceover and I have my copy here and I'm going to do that right now. Wait for the countdown. Reporter Clara Angelina I'll take two. Reporter Clara Angelina Diaz got an opportunity to go to the New England Tango competition last week. She spoke to one of the founders of the pageant. She spoke to one of the founders She spoke to one of the founders of the event. This is what the voiceover looks like. It appears just under the slug. Now what we can do to make things simple, we can get rid of the slug now because all we need is the voiceover. But first we're going to edit the voiceover. Let's listen to it and edit it. Reporter Clara Angelina Diaz got an opportunity to go to the New England Tango competition last week. She spoke to one of the founders of the pageant. So. I don't want to say the word pageant because this wasn't a pageant, it was a competition. So right before the word pageant, I'm going to press the letter J and 
bring my player head to before the word pageant. Okay, I'm going to go before the word pageant. And then I'm going to take my razor blade by pressing B and make a cut there. Now when I play this, I should hear the word pageant forward. The pageant. Or in this case, the pageant. So we're going to cut that part out. And we'll change our blade back to an A, an arrow, by pressing A. And we will delete this. Now let's find the word that we do want instead of pageant. She spoke to one of the founders. She spoke to one of the founders of the event. So that's what I want instead. She spoke to one of the founders of the event. So let's go back. She spoke to so now I'm going to press B, listen to it again. She spoke to one of the founders of the event. And press B for blade again, cut out the parts that we don't want. And now we're left with just this clip. She spoke to one of the founders of the event. And now we go back to the main part of our voiceover. competition last week. She spoke to one of the founders of so let's cut all that stuff out. Competition last week. And now instead of using the razor blade and pressing B and bothering to cut it, we can actually leave it as an arrow, grab the end of it, see how it changes from an arrow to a vertical and horizontal line, and just shrink it like that. That's a little bit quicker. And then we're going to bring both clips together, and you will not hear that there was a mistake there. This week. She spoke to one of the founders of the event. Let's listen to it again. Angle competition last week. She spoke to one of the founders of the event. Now we're all set with our voiceover. So we're going to leave it right where it is. And we're going to go back to the other project. Here is the timeline. It's almost finished. I put the voiceover at the beginning. Reporter Clara Angelina Diaz got So you can see there's a voiceover with no picture. And I'm going to remedy that. In the interest of time, I just wanted to show you what this was like without the voiceover. Now I'm going to open up my other timeline where it's all done. And you're going to see the complete, the completed sequence. Here it is. Reporter Clara Angelina Diaz got an opportunity to go to the New England Tango competition last week. She spoke to one of the founders of the event. So you can see how this dresses the whole thing up. We've got our lower thirds in there. We went right to the interview from the voiceover intro, and that's really how you make a very, very simple news package. For your news packages, it would be best to have more than one interview. It rounds out the story and gives it more dimension. The voiceover adds a lot, and you can put the voiceover at the beginning or the voiceover at the end. You can also have your reporter do what we call a stand-up, a microphone where they are looking at the camera in the setting or outside of the setting where the interview or the event is taking place. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial of how to make a news package. More detailed tutorials to come.